uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird because, like, um, every time that, like, uh, you show up, it's kind of, like, in, like, uh, like, it's, like, different people show up at, at like, the same time. Somebody and, else showed up today? Uh, like, in the last week, oh, like, sorry. different, like, or, like, I've talked to my mom or something like that, like, the all types of those things like always happen at the same time and like um like ju- like just the other day on sunday uh i o- od'd on this uh one one stamp and i haven't like i haven't overdosed in like four years and like that like pretty much scared like me a lot so um you know i've been like thinking of that like a lot and um so i feel like maybe like the fact that like you showing up was like maybe a sign that like you know i should really like you know get go to detox because i want to it's not like i'm doing it for somebody else but like but that's what i'm just saying is that all these things keep happening and then you know all right val what would you like to say to all these wonderful people who are still rooting for you and wishing you to get on the right track you got a lot of supporters now. If you would get yourself together, you have so much people supporting you still. So what uh, would you like to say to these people? Um, well, uh, thank you for, like, following my story thing. And um, I, I sometimes, like, some people I've met, like, them, that they've seen my, like, uh, story. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, like, pretty neat to, like, that when, like, someone comes up to me and says, like, oh wow i saw your youtube video on uh blah blah and like uh you know it makes like you feel like like people actually like care about you and stuff because i don't know like a lot of people down here like even if you're nice to them and everything they'll still like treat you like you're like garbage and stuff like people that live around here even if you're nice like to them and you never gave them a reason to treat you like that so it's like it's nice to like have people that you know support. I've been doing all right, other than the fact that like they're trying to like really like basically just move people around Kensington. Like they're really not like getting anywhere. They're just kind of like moving people around in circles and just kind of like putting people back in like I guess places that aren't like very like well off now and now they're like building in them and you know they're trying to like bit like uh rebuild kensington and like get the drugs out and everything and then that's like it's great and all but it's like number one they're doing the completely wrong approach to it and second of all like uh they have all these like trucks and stuff that have all these loud noises and it's like hard to even sleep or like take like just doing anything like I can't imagine being in school like another one another train so um it's like now they have all these like buses and trains trying to like you know uh get people together and like go to rehab I guess like one of my friends she um she had walked up to a K&A and she like wanted a cigarette and on the way there there was like a lot of people I guess in a group and uh she like felt like uncomfortable because he uh I hold on Uh, he felt, or, um, yeah, but I guess, like, it's just, like, a lot of the people are kind of walking around making people feel uncomfortable, like, trying to ask them if they can pray for us and others, like, all that, which, I mean, that's, I don't really mind, like, it doesn't matter to me, but it's, like, they're, the people are, like, really in your face and trying to, like, say, like, that they can, like, you know, save you and how kensington's gonna basically be or everyone's gonna get arrested like i know they're not gonna um like arrest my 
friend's 75 year old grandma like then that like that's not that like, wouldn't be fair she didn't do anything so um well number one uh Bert came home from jail which was like really nice and it's like funny because uh it's like we have this like sensor for each other uh sorry but yeah he uh Bert came home and uh it was actually funny because it was like a surprise uh because i didn't know that he was going to be coming home and he came home and like when he came home i didn't know that he was cut he was there for a day and a half and Uh, well, I don't know if they're going to stop or say or what, but I guess they're, they're leaving. Uh, but anyway, so Bert came home, and uh, the first day that he was here, I didn't know that he was home. So uh, I actually was, like, you know, just doing my, like, daily thing, like, and then uh, all of a sudden... Uh, Bert shows up, and yeah, that was like pretty cool, and that was like exciting because you know I didn't like really talk to him the whole time that he was gone because I don't didn't know what his like um like I guess like prison number is like and that uh that jail you have to like know their uh ID number or whatever to get in any contact with them unless unless like they call you or whatever but um yeah so I mean that was pretty much like most recent stuff like um all, well, and also um Bert, he um like he's clean off the like the dope and powder and everything so I'm proud of him for doing that because is I'm like I know it's really hard to not um like want to do stuff when everybody around you is like doing it but like I feel like I feel the same way that he does is like once I you have the opportunity once you have the opportunity to get off of something like and you ha like you know that you're going to no matter what that you should like that you like I'm proud of him that he you know took that opportunity because like last time we went to jail for like three days he like got high as soon as he came out but I mean most people would do that obviously it's kind of just like going to the hospital but like yep he's been out for like a whole month now and he's still clean so yeah, that's what good the situation where you were getting clean Valerie because he said he's out here for you Val yeah um uh I I want to go to like detox because it's like getting annoying like that one of us is getting high and the other one's not because, like, you know, he's get, he gets irritated and different stuff when I'm obviously high because he's, number one, just doesn't want to see that, which I understand. Like, I wouldn't want to either. Well, what's stopping you from getting cleaned out? Myself. And what is there about you that's making it so difficult to... To reach out and do the right thing because you no, know, this is death. This is a death certificate you, you're signing, doing this stuff and living this life. You know. Yep. Um. You're too young. You got it. Pretty much the only thing stopping me is myself, I guess. What What is it going to take for you to get out of this? To get out of this black hole. What is it going to take? You think? Um. So, I, I don't know. I think I basically just like just need to like just decide to go and just like do it. That's the situation. Wait, all you want to decide. So tell us about that here. Yeah. Tell us about what's been going on you since you uh, you had that phone. 
That was the last time I saw you, and your face was bl bloody the last time I saw you. What happened to you? Uh, oh, yeah, you? because I fell for oh, face God. forward onto the, uh, oh. I yeah, I fell face forward onto the, uh, the uh, street because I was so, so tired that I um, couldn't, like, really stand up anymore. And I, uh, like, my, like, legs, like, they did this, like, thing, like, like it's, like, slipped and, like, I went, I, like, fell face forward. I had surgery on this arm and uh, they, then they cut it, like, sewed it shut. Uh, well, they didn't sew it shut, that was the problem. It, it had to heal from the outside in. So it uh, it healed from the outside in. All right, Val. Any last words you want to say before we um close to the family? That's it. All right, fam. So we gonna don't be bitter. Be better. Till next time, we out of here.